Here I am at Biggs Harley-Davidson picking up a 2020 Harley-Davidson Tri-Glide Ultra. Never ridden a trike before in my life. We got, ha, hold on, check this out. Look at, look at this. Excuse me, sir, are you Mr. August? Yes, sir. Um, your limo awaits you. <laughs> Only at Biggs, this is great. So before I go, Howie wants to show me something and I'm glad he is. No, not that, it's about the bike. What are you showing me? First of all, you don't lean on this bike. Right. It's a tri-glide. You told me you that. actually do steering. Okay. And I do want to show you how to do reverse, which is different. Okay. So is there clutch and all that? Is it like your throttle? There is, but not on reverse. Oh. Reverse is just by the button. Whoa. Wow. If you've never ridden a trike before, let me tell you, this really is a bit different. Like, look at this, no lean whatsoever. It is all steering, which is so counterintuitive from riding bikes for so long. And I also just noticed that as this truck approaches, I gotta make sure that I'm not so close to the curb or the truck and, you know, my side of the, my side of the lane. I just went to put my foot down when I stopped, realizing that I don't have to do that. So before I get my stepmother, Carmen, on the back of this thing to, to give her a ride home, she wanted a ride because it's a, Triglide, she's always wanted to ride on one. I figured I better take the freeway for at least a short while and really get used to this before she gets on the back. Even going straight, I figured it would feel just like a two wheeled motorcycle. It does not at all. It's really, really going to keep you straight, and, but every little turn of your handlebar, every little bit, boy, it's going to move you. So far, everything I thought about riding a tri-glide, three-wheeled motorcycle, is wrong. So Howie, she's getting on before me, man. Oh, that was easy. Well, good thing this is being filmed. All right, here we go. Well, getting on the freeway for the first time with my stepmother, making sure I'm extra careful. A little different when you have a passenger on one of these than a two-wheeled motorcycle. I would say if you've learned on a regular motorcycle, a two-wheel motorcycle, I'd say it's, in my opinion, it's probably harder to learn to ride a trike than if you were a beginning rider, just a new rider deciding, do I want two wheels or three wheels? I really do think you wouldn't have created those habits that I've got. All good habits. I mean, you got to ride a bike the way you got to ride a bike. You got to lean. You know, you got to watch it in the turns, things like that. But with this one, it's almost, other than the clutch and the brake and, you know, just the the, uh, the hand controls, other than that, it's a whole new ballgame. On a two-wheel motorcycle, I wouldn't even think about this cyclist. But now I got to think about my rear tires. The width of my rear tires. Got to think about that. Riding in the center of the lane is different. I usually take the front left. So lots of nice little twisties here. Gonna see how this feels. I'll certainly be seasoned after this ride back down to Santee. So yeah, see, I, I'm leaning left. I'm like pulling hard on that left side of the handlebar and it's not necessary, but it's a habit. Wow, still wanna lean. I'm almost lifting my butt a little bit off the seat and kind of leaning out to the right when I make these left turns. Huh. See, I'm not doing that now. I'm going to say straight up. I'm going to force myself. All right, so that you definitely have to pull. But I got to remember with, with each, you know, use both hands. Like, pull with the right, push with the left when I'm going this way. Yeah, 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 much better. Well, I just had to stop by Hilliker's Egg Ranch. What do you think so far, Carmen? Um, I like the ride. Um, with all this power, you wouldn't know that you had two extra wheels here. Oh yeah, no, it's got plenty of power. Oh yeah. Yeah, with that 114 yeah. engine. Mm -hmm. So you like? I like it. My boy went riding with me last time on my Harley. What was the deal with that? Well, uh, the issue is, is the leaning. I hated the leaning. I thought we were gonna fall over many times and I was terrified. You said you'd never ride again. Oh yeah, I said, I'm done. I'm not ever going on a motorcycle ever again. But then... Well, he told me that he got a trike and I was like, okay, and? And he was like, well, there's no leaning. Like it's, it's, it's basically just steering. And I was like, well, okay, I guess I'll give it a shot. So 
I'm hoping that he did not trick me. No, I did not. All right, get on. Let's get you on. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, that was that was really easy. <laughs> All right, you ready? I we'll see. We'll see. So I'm here at Hilliker's again because we need to get more eggs and he really likes the jelly that I got here the other day and I thought it's a perfect excuse to bring him to ride again. And so eh, maybe eight, nine miles, I'd say max. And there's some turns and there's a little bit of different uh, environments that you ride through, some stop signs, some stop lights. What do you think now, my boy? Okay, so I used to ride with him super long ago when I was really young and I hate it now because I hate the feel of almost falling off every time you're turning. And this this bike is perfect for people who who don't like, you know, those those turns that make you feel like you're about to fall off cuz there's no the bike doesn't really lean, so it's it's per, it's very stable, feels very safe. You don't feel at all like you're about to fall off. It's great. It's perfect. Here's another thing. Lots of space in here. Now I have to admit that my helmet's a little over to the side, so this has trouble closing on the top. But, actually no it doesn't, look at that. So you, you have all that. And the other thing that I brought was this. Ready? Yeah. So you gotta press that and pull at the same time. Press this? that top button. This? Where the hell is the top button? Right there. Oh, right there. Yep. And pull. Yep. Yeah, tons of look space at that. in there. Basically, you can get groceries in there, and that's pretty awesome. Got my eggs and on the road again. I got my good buddy Clint August. Say, buddy, how you doing? How you like that thing? Doing well, man. I, you know, I really do like it. It takes some getting used to, I have to tell you. This is a 2020 Harley Davidson Tri Glide Ultra from Briggs Harley Davidson in San Marcos off the 78 freeway. Um, if you ride two wheels, I have to tell you that you do have to get used to not leaning. I kept trying to lean in the turns and you just can't, which is an advantage if you can't ride a bike off the kickstand or you can't ride on two wheels. What an awesome, fun machine this is. Now, this has all the bells and whistles that you would think with the boom box and all the gauges and your navigation. But this thing right here, it's gotten my son to ride with me again over the last few days. He, he doesn't like to lean on a motorcycle, so he would not ride with me. He's been riding with me for the last couple days. That alone is worth its weight in gold. These start at about $36,000 plus. They're worth every penny. And the storage space in this is unbelievable. Check this out. So I had two helmets in here yesterday. Two helmets. And it was, oh, let me just get that out of there. And then, you know, but I have other stuff in here. I've got my gloves and this. I even went shopping at at Hilliker's Egg Ranch and brought home some eggs and jelly. Down here, this trunk space is, is way bigger, so deceptive. I had some groceries in here. It really is a lot of space to be able to travel and the comfort, you know, that is a, is a huge part of it as well. So let me ask you about the drivetrain. Is it the same size motor that you would normally get in a two up? It is, and that's the first question that I asked. So it's the 114 motor. It's got 1,868 uh, cc's. It's got 121 foot-pounds of torque uh, out of the tranny, and it's plenty. So I thought this was going to come in at about 1,500 plus pounds. It's about 1,262 or something very close to that. And it's a six-gallon tank, and this thing gets about 42 miles per gallon on average. Now watch this when I turn on the boom box here. Again, it's got all your navigation, all the bells and whistles that you want. But I do want to show you guys reverse. It's pretty awesome, and it kind of spoiled me, actually. <laughs> so you got to have it in neutral. There's an emergency brake on the left side, just like a car. You actually press it down and up, so I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna put my foot on the brake. I'm gonna start the bike. Okay, so now I'm starting the bike. Now, no throttle, no clutch, no nothing. I'm just gonna hit reverse once. Now it knows it wants to go into reverse. Now I'm gonna hit it again and hold it, and watch this. It's pretty awesome, I love this thing. So that's just one of the many things that are super cool about this bike. The other thing is you're gonna ride this for distance. You're really gonna be able to ride this for a long, long way. Now, Dave, I don't know, you've ridden a trike, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So would you agree that it's, it's a little bit bumpier when you hit stuff because you have more well, surface sure. on there? Okay, yeah. but it's very comfortable when you ride it. 
the biggest thing for me was I kept thinking to myself, I gotta put my feet down. Right. And then I got used to not. Now I'm kind of freaked out that when I go back to my two wheels, I'm gonna be sitting at a light and forget to put them down. Well, I'm the, flop over. the transition is a little bit difficult for people that are used to riding two up that go to a three. And then once going from a three, if you go back to a two. So you gotta, you just gotta be cognizant of the fact that, that you are doing that. And you cannot park this in a motorcycle parking space. That too. But again, there's so many pluses. It's got a, a you know boom and stereo system. Some of the speakers coming out here from the back of the seat. You've got your speakers here. You've got your comm system connection right here. If you, like I use a Senna, so I wouldn't need it. But you've got your comm system. You hook up here to talk to your passenger. It's right back here on right. the other side. Lots going on. It's from Biggs Harley Davidson in cool. San Marcos off the 78. It's beautiful. All right. I think you ought to head to Julian. Yeah, I just might have to do that, actually. <laughs> well, I didn't get to take it to Julian, but I did get to tool around the parking lot just one last time before taking it back to Biggs Harley. Please subscribe to Motorcycle Monkey Channel on YouTube, share it with your friends, and click the bell icon in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to get notifications when I have new videos. Thanks for watching, ride safely, and I'll see you on the next one.